Oh my god. That sound, that music. Holy shit, that took me back. <laughs> the memories, I know, right? I heard it and I instantly was like, oh my god, that's it. That's the sound. Oh, take me on a journey, I'm ready! <laughs> Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Oh. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Nice. Jane. Enter new ID. Manually enter career info and physical stats. No, I'm good. Please log in to access your profile. Goobers! <laughs> Goober Shepherd! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Profile reconstruction complete. Goober Shepherd, Earthborn, Soul Survivor, Soldier. Identification confirmed. Um, normal auto level up. Points must be manually assigned using the squat screen. Um, I think that's fine. I'm assuming that that's how it used to be, right? It used to be that you just assign your own points. Level scaling, legendary mode. Classic mode, the original 1 to 60 level range will be used instead of the new 130. XP and talent points progression remains the same, but the number of levels is doubled. I'll just go with whatever. If this is what their new system, it's probably better. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for herself. Had a great farm, too. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Jacques! Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Hmm. In the year 2004, 2148, 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space. And something, I didn't finish it! But yeah, it's, that's called the Mass Effect, right? We basically got propelled into... Um, we got, basically got a massive jump range. in technology. Initiating transmission sequence. Oh, I'm excited for that sexy butt! We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. Ugh. Ah, there it is! <laughs> All stations secure for transit. Joker! Oh my god, Joker! Ah! Oh, we're coming back! Ooh! I look pretty good! Yeah, I remember when I very when I played the first game the very first time, I put a lot of effort into making customizing the face and she was so ugly. It was one of those situations where it looked great in the creation thing and then every cutscene I was like, ooh. Check. Internal emission sync engaged. Joker! All systems online. Oh my god. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. Hey, so you Kaden. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. <laughs> You're paranoid. 
The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I agree. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on. Yeah, she's hot. Letting up. Joker. Status I like her lips. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. I like the spacesuit. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I heard. I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, start button to access mission computer. Right. Okay. We have a map. Oh, wow. How cute. So I can talk to everyone, right? Oh, it already says. You probably talk. don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Look at that butt. That's a tight-fitting suit. <laughs> I think it's like two perfect buns back there. <laughs> the captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Yeah, I better go. I told you, I just saw him. He marched by like he was on a mission. The specters are always on a mission, and we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What do you, you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Um. Oh, I can ask a lot. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. I don't know more don't about him. trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. Damn. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Hmm, that was long ago, though. It was 30 though. years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. Only 30? No, oh, that's recent in my eyes. <laughs> it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board, especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command, and they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. If it's only... 30 years, then it's like he could have been a kid when the war happened, so you can't really I don't I don't feel like in that sense it was a long time ago. Um, really counts. <laughs> if someone could have been alive for it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Okay. I grew up on Eden Prime Dock. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. Hey, the Doc! Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? <sighs> I always thought those outfits were so we'll cool. For some real action. I the doctor's hope outfit. You're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This Doctor might be looks so young here. show the brass what I can do. 
Definitely. Um, no rush. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, Commander. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. Oh, he looks so cool. To talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in are so cool. <laughs> Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Where are the young'uns? Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Covert pickup? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. Damn. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. Hmm. It was Prothean. Wasn't the... Wasn't the command commander... Fuck, what's his name? The dude from Battlestar Galactica. Doesn't doesn't he do a voice in these games as well? Ever James Almas. Yeah, that's the dude. What's his name again in Battlestar Galactica? Admiral Adama. I knew it! Oh, okay. Whew. I got it. Okay. Research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon. I know it was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This I see. Big, the last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Mm hmm. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. <laughs> Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we okay. need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Oh, why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, <laughs> that was it shows great. how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Ooh, Spectres. You support this, Captain? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You so I'm be being evaluate, evaluated. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Okay. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. Ugh, Joker. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Ashley. Oof. 
No. <laughs> yes. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. But Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. I'm ready. Engaging oh, stealth oh. systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. <laughs> I love that we're called Goober Shepherds. <laughs> I move faster on my own. Bye. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are okay. approaching drop point two. Ah, oh, that ship's so cool. God, so many memories coming back. <laughs> oh, what happened? Caden. Smoke and death. Hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. What the hell are those? They are my crocs. Okay. Oh god. What happened here? Crouch. Hold switch weapons for your squat. Oh. Oh, so he's on okay. Avenger. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! You can customize your suit colors as well, right? Eventually. Oh, and then it overheats. So cool. <laughs> Look at my walk. <laughs> I am a stealthy goobers. <laughs> Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. We gotta go. Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. Still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, mate. Okay. Uh, so how do I run? Oh. Medigel is needed to heal injured squad members. Medigel can be used to bypass decryption. <sighs> oh, okay. Okay. I did it. Um, how did I do this? Okay. Use the squad screen to improve your team's abilities. Press the start button across to, to, to access the mission computer. D-pad for ish to issue orders. Attack. Specific mood. Oh God, this is so confusing. Nice shooting, Tex. I'm 
sure I'll figure it out later. Time to run. <laughs> Wait to reposition. Um. Wait. Nice. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I did it. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. <laughs> we were patrolling the her perimeter breathing. when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Take us. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Hmm. Sasquatch. What else guess. do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They huh. were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Okay. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. So they probably have been upgrading themselves for those 200 years. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Mm. Okay. Move out! Nice. Oh, Paragon plus two. Uh, yes. Squad. Oh my god, all this information. Squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Okay. Um, spend talent points. So I have three points right now. And I can't put them in rifles? Seven points. Oh, assault rifles take seven points. When I did this, when I played it the first time, I just put everything. I was maxed out on sniper rifles, and that was like my entire playstyle. But for now, I guess I'll put a point in here. Increases health. Allows limited health regeneration. That sounds good. So did I add those points now? He has two points. Barrier. Adds a biotic barrier to your shield that absorbs damage. Cannot block attacks that bypass shields. Okay. And first aid. Deploy Medigel to all wounded squad members, restoring their health. That sounds good. Um, and then there's me. Yeah. Okay, cool. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Oh, we can open it. Light armor, human, scorpion one. And you can just take it. Do I have to pick one or? Oh no, take all. Oh, this is so confusing. <laughs> this is like, I'm trying to remember how to play this game from back when I played in like 2006. Enter cover by moving up to the rock with your weapon drawn. Okay. So now it's teaching me how to fight. Click L to man manually toggle crouch, right? 
Are we fighting or did I shoot that? Oh, no, we are fighting. I did not hit anything, apparently. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Ooh, throw a grenade. Did I miss? No, I didn't miss. Oh, there. <laughs> Missed everything. <laughs> a weird melee attack. Oh, I leveled up! Huh. What's this? This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. Oh shit, By it was so close. Side of the gas. Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We, we make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay, anything else here? Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want nice. to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay, so A to sprint. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. I think this is the point when I played it the very first time that I was like, ooh, they look weird. And I was like, oh, fighting? And I was like, ooh. And then this like sold me on the game. I was like, okay, I'm in. This is awesome. Look at him running around. <laughs> Did we get him? Ooh. Yeah, wait, why am I in cover? They're, they don't even have weapons. They explode! Okay, they don't drop anything. Any... I don't see any cases. That door is closed. Security locks engaged. Hit it. Oh, decryption. Ah, oh, okay. Humans. Thank the humans. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel spaceport. and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can Damn, you tell dude. about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. I love Agents all of their of outfits. Sawyers, They're so cool. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. Trauma. I thought shit. it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be huh. the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous Damn. new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil, <laughs> awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. I feel like he needs to be smacked in the face to wake up. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the Different attack. Different Turian, maybe. Could have been here. I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Hmm. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. <laughs> Is it madness to see the future? 
to see the destruction rushing towards us, to understand there is no escape, no hope. No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. That's kind of cool. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can shut him up. <laughs> oh my god, that would be Williams, so mean. Take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. <laughs> Bye, guys. Can't open that. Okay. Can I go in here? Oh, I can. I should check out what I'm picking up. I got Omni Gel. That's good. Um, like, how do I change my loadout and stuff? So these triangles are abilities. So pistol has marksman next up, and then sh unlock shotguns. Oh, so I need to use the assault rifle more to unlock sniper rifles. So this is where all my points are gonna go. Oh, I can't do more. Charm. New dialogue options. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. There he is. That's the other Turian, isn't it? Saren. Oh, he looks like the I bad see. guy. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The council thought you could use some help on this one. Hmm. He looks half to find the Geth here. alien. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <gasps> oh shit. Oh shit, did he kill him? He's a bad guy. Oh, that is so cool. No, I want to look at the ship. Wait, no, I ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, eat shit. Oh, he turned around. I guess you can't fire too often because then it overheats. Uh. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Oh, they got him. Grab all the things. Easy decryption. Let's do it. Easy. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? That outfit on the right is just straight up a Final Fantasy outfit, don't you think? <laughs> Farmer. It's safe. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah. Uh. I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't <laughs> know what happened to the rest Smart. of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. Hmm. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise! It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It hmm. sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only... It was coming from inside your own head. Oh. It was probably trying to block communications. 
Whatever in your it head? Was, felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Scary. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were <laughs> running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. Yeah. You'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Oh, look, this is blue. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Hmm. What is it? The spaceport call. What's his name? He's not a bad guy. Wait. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Why was uh, Ashley standing really far away? Did you see that? She was like way in the background. <laughs> um. Wait, why are these grayed out? Are they bad options or neutral? Okay, forget about it. I've got more important things to worry about. Good luck. Oh, there she is. So we got a pistol and a weapon upgrade. Oh, you can reduce them to Omnigel too. Okay. I, do, I haven't figured out yet how to equip them, but it might be back at the ship. I remember something about. It's Nihilus. Shit. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed a crucial relax. witness. He let his guard down. Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Mm -hmm. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up. Then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Hmm. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates. He was probably taking a sneaky break. I, sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab forty winks where the supervisor can't find me. No. You survived because you're lazy? You make me sick. No. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. <laughs> Poor dude. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where is he? Oh, is he dead? Oh. I guess so. Yep. He walked all the way around. I'm coming in! Power wheel. Oh, okay. Shield boost. Sabotage. I don't know what it does. Oh. Overheats nearby enemies' weapons, burns them for minor damage. Allow you to throw enemies and objects using a mass effect field. Oh. 
Yeah, use throw on him. Did it work? Nope. Hmm, how did I not hit that? Is that an explosive? Oh, cool. Oh, that's not an explosive. No, I guess not. And shoot! Ooh, that just missed me. Okay, I'm doing good damage. Nice, there you go. More? Ooh, right in the fucking head! There's one more. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> See two little heads there. Do you think I can- oh. I'm not sure where exactly my bullet is. There's one here. Come on up! <laughs> I hit the top of his head. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I remember absolutely loving sniping everything in this Zip game. The <laughs> Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. I always thought Saren was a cool bad guy. He looks so cool. Oh, he's doing something. They're blowing everything up! We're here! <laughs> Time to party! Demolition charges! The guest oh, must shit. Them. Okay, um. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down! Find them all? Oh. Those flag thingies? These? Okay, let's find them. That's two. I'm running! Oh! There's one down there. How do I get down there? Oh. Isn't that where I came from? Ouchies! He singed me. I hate timers. Just gotta take care of this first and then we'll do. Well, then we'll shoot everyone. I was I was about to shoot her and I was like, wait, you're not the enemy. Oh, you're there. Let's see, how did that not count? Oh, I think Caden ate shit. <laughs> Can I heal him? I think he's knocked out here. How do I help him? <laughs> Looks okay to me, yeah. After the- after combat? Oh, okay. There's like one dude here. Oh, 
kick him, punch him. Yeah. <laughs> How do I throw a grenade again? There's so many buttons. Oh, there comes a the little guy. Oh, Jesus. I love how heavy the shots are in this weapon. Um, do I have to do something here? One charge remaining. Oh, there's still another bomb? I thought I was done. Where is it? Let me open my map. Point of interest. It's back where you came. How did I miss it? How did I put away my gun as well? Oh, hey, he's fine. <laughs> Can I heal him now? Oh, yeah, there we go. God, there's so much going on at all times now that I'm like, uh, what am I doing? Trying to learn everything, my head's about to explode. But Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Oh, he's being sucked in. Out of the way! I didn't see anything. Ugh. That camera shake and those flashes. Oof. Oh, I broke it! Uh-oh. They're not gonna like that. Oh, I hate it when it does that. So it... I have all the notifications... The ship that touched down I'll tell on later. Time, the Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson with the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. <laughs> Angry Turian. So I hate it when I have all notifications and Doctor, like pop-ups turned Dr. off Chakwas. on my Xbox. I think she's waking up. But because it's Microsoft, it links to my Windows and then plays the notification on my computer for what I just did on my Xbox. So How annoying. Are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. That's fine, dude. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. 
I appreciate it. My Physically, casual outfit. Fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my <laughs> report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Mm, pissed off about the Gith. I'm fine. I'll live. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? A vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <laughs> what are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? <laughs> we don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Hmm. Not if I can help it. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Story's so good. Okay, so, now that we did our first mission, let's look at all this. So, we picked up... So I have a Lancer equipped right now, right? And then I have two Banshees that I can switch switch it with. Or I guess maybe I can equip it to my squad members too. Shotgun. Stinger. Pistol. They all seem pretty bad. Oh here, light armor. Shield. Attack biotech protection is... 20. Isn't this one better? Oh, it's light armor though. But it's only 5 damage protection different and then it adds more shields and adds biotech protection. Can I wear it? Oh. Huh. Different outfit. I'm just checking everything. Codex. I don't think we're gonna go into that too much. Should we save? Nice. What's this? Replenish Medigel. Oh. Hey, Caden. 
Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you. Jenkins was an idiot. He just ran out there and died. <laughs> Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I thought it was a harmonica too. Yeah, it's like. Meh, meh. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. He just ran off, so... It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Um... You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck. Biotics? Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? I don't have I've never one, met apparently. My if they wanted to see me, they'd have contacted me after that mess a few years back. Oh, that's right, a coos. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? The captain hopes the ambassador can get an audience with the council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd <laughs> probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. He does Whatever look good happens, now, yeah. We'll be ready, Commander. I feel like he looks very different now than he did before. Oh, Doctor! Yes, Commander. I like her so much. Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted <laughs> something to about her that I really, really like. The wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice. Space mom, Earth, yeah. <laughs> or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Oh, was that it? Biotics are like humans, but they have like implants that give you those powers, like throwing shit. Is that what that is? What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Oh, he's like us. <laughs> we get migraines all the time, except we can't make shit fly. We just, we're just in pain. <laughs> we're just regular people. We can't do anything. <laughs> I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, mm. and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Being nice to her for now, but I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. 
It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I really didn't don't like her character progression through the I trilogy. Think fit in here just fine, Williams. I think she was Thanks, my least Kevin. favorite character in the end. But I want those paragon points, so gotta be nice. <laughs> Elevator? God, I look so cool. Especially from like the higher angle, I think the character looks really cool. From the lower angle, it's a little bit weird sometimes, but... Oh, Normandy's vehicle bay using the squad member's locker allows you to assign equipment to them. Oh, okay, so I go here to change their equipment? The Mako. Oh. So I can give her my armor? Ah, oh, look at that. I guess it's better armor. But that's my armor. I don't want to give you my armor. Hmm. I think that doesn't really matter right now. I, I barely have anything. After a couple missions, I can probably redo their armor. Improve it. Oh. Wow. Um, I'm getting points, but I think I need to open the engineer Adams. Can I read about the ship? The Mako. Oh. <laughs> Biotics is the ability of rare individuals they read all to of this for you? dark energy and create mass effect fields through the use of electrical impulses from the brain. Wow. Intense training and surgically implanted amplifiers are necessary for a biotic to produce mass effect fields powerful enough for practical use. Element zero can increase or decrease the mass of a volume of space time when subjected to an electrical current. Okay, this is too difficult. I can't. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. So this is just below. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. Oh. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Pay you? Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and hmm. it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Usually in technology. Hmm. Okay, so we have heavy armor. I don't think I can use heavy armor, can I? Oh, costs twenty five thousand. I have thirteen hundred. Jeez, but I don't think I ever used ooh sniper rifle. I don't think I ever used the shop because you find so much on your missions that you don't really need any of that. If I remember correctly, who's better, Caden or Garrus? Garrus, of course. I have to say though, I, I barely know anything about Caden because when I played it originally, he did not make it. <laughs> okay, I should maybe check up here. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Ooh, here we go. I love these. I don't know what they're called, but. Oh, the Normandy is such a pretty ship. God, it's so cool. I have goosebumps right now. Ah, <laughs> oh, so cool. Holy shit. I literally have goosebumps. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, sizes oh. and everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. 
It's so cool. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing is on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Ah, the music too. It's so magical. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Mm. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. Big space station. So cool. This is an outrage. The council would step in Ugh. if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. It's beautiful. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity Ambassador. was all the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of a council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have mm -hmm. the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. That's the truth. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. Poor That's Nihilus. Simple, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. His voice actor is so Captain. flat. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. And that's why I hate politicians. Important locations are marked on your map. Okay. So we have green is the store. Transition screens. Squad members. So we're in Udina's office right now. Next is our points of interest. Okay. Computer console. <gasps> Isn't it his private computer? Can't go snooping. Oh yeah, for people wondering, I I have played so I have played this before in the past, but only once, and I just don't remember anything. So it's basically a first ever playthrough. Welcome to the Presidium. Avina. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Are you real? <laughs> what does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, <laughs> along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. C I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel ah, security C Citadel as security. Law okay. For all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. Okay. 
The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. Wow. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. There's a lot, yeah. The most yeah. recently added embassy belongs to your own species, oh. humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new oh. species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Damn, we're, we're a pretty big deal. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. Hmm. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. <laughs> Can you imagine? We have a hard time getting everyone in the EU to have the Euro. And they're talking about a standardized galactic economy. <laughs> Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. Nice. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. Okay. Do you know anything about specters? The term specter is derived from the branch of special tactics and reconnaissance. Each specter agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. Okay, so they're very special. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? And these are Originally, even more special. the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians. The two dominant species in Citadel space. Yeah, they're the Roughly most advanced. 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three mm -hmm. Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. I see. So there's these three Council races that are older and have been here for a very long time, so they're basically running the place and they're making decisions for everything. And then humanity came in, like super young, we're super young and new to everything. We're like the latest, the latest people that joined, what was it, only 19 years ago, did they say? So Saren is probably just, he probably just dislikes us because we're so young and unpredictable. We're like the teenagers of the galaxy. <laughs> We're like the rebellious teenagers. Um, okay. Goodbye. I think I've heard Goodbye, enough. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avina. No problem. She's like Avina is like modern day Alexa. Rapid transit directions. Financial district. God, with the music, it really feels like we're playing a science fiction Final Fantasy game. To the wards, to the little towers. You have the little icons. God, the design of everything is so good. It really feels like an established world, you know? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Uh, okay. So we checked out Avena, right? So where does the game want us to go? What's our mission right now? Expose Saren. Citadel Council. Presidium locations. Citadel Tower. <gasps> oh! 
<gasps> Is that Garrus? Oh, <gasps> Garrus! Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Garrus! My lovely boy! Oh, how I've missed you. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. I even used to have a... <laughs> I used to have a tank top. <laughs> oh no, a t-shirt. I used to have a t-shirt that had Garrus on it and it said, I'm working on some calibrations. <laughs> you don't like Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the council. My absolute favorite character in this entire trilogy is Garrus. Uh, Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. God, his voice is so good. Us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Hey, Garrus. Come to my quarters later. <laughs> See you later. So I guess we just go up here and have a talk. Oh yeah, that's the casual outfit. Um, I have no idea. Ooh. Hello. No idea where I'm going. Hey, Here's Anderson. Already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security. God, all the species no are so cool. Your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. Hmm. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. You always seem to be involved Mr. when he makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Hmm. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready it's to join eyeballs. the council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. <laughs> I don't want to get too heated either. You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I oh. agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? So the middle uh, lady is an Asari, right? And then what was his species? Sa Salarian? Salarian. And then the left dude is Turian. Okay. So only three members on the council. Right? That's crazy. Only three? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. A little lip Your petition line. to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Eh. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs> Why does he look so shady to me? I mean, don't spoil it. I don't know. I don't remember if he's actually a good guy or not. 
It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. I'm so nosy. Things went bad. Real bad. Mm. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Except for Udina, the voice actors are really carrying this game right now. It's so it's so nice and pleasant to just listen to them. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Hmm. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Okay. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Okay. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow mm. Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? Is that the same question? About 20 years ago, I was oh, part okay. of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent mm. people. And the official records just covered it all up. But mm. I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. Bad vibes. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Hmm. So many things I can ask. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them... It's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. We're too independent. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, They'd love to have us on the council, but it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. Hmm. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. Hmm. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. Oof. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble, but I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. Oh. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, Damn. but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. Okay. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. 
but sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Is this legal? They sound like shadow <laughs> operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. <gasps> the latest alliance wow. estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. Oh. But the council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. Damn. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a specter shows up, you know something big is about to happen. Jeez. How do they decide who becomes a specter? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Specters aren't made. They're born. The council's Damn. always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. How's the remaster so far? It's amazing. I'm I'm already completely getting sucked in. I, I keep worrying that I'm on in these conversations too long and that people get bored. <laughs> but I'm I'm really like I wanna like hear everything. Um What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each specter answers directly to the council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. So they're Other like lone rangers. They act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. They do. If one goes too what far. What happens when a specter goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another specter to bring the rogue agent down. <laughs> I just had a thought that <laughs> specters are basically Twitch mods. <laughs> um, what's Tell this? me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive Makes me the council. <laughs> Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Okay, that's it. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a he only cares about money. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Okay. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Yeah, Captain Anderson has a great voice. So pleasing to listen to. So, this is where the council passes judgment on all Slotabok, huh? Ever get the feeling ran over our heads, Commander? This is it. The very heart of the Citadel. The pinnacle of galactic power. Gotta make your head spin if you think about it too much. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try and find Garrus. Right? That guy's up to something. Um... Wait, let me... Uh, journal? So, speak to Harkin. Go to Kor's den in the lower wards. Okay. You have arrived at Kor's den gentlemen's club. That's her. What? Oh, I'm fighting assassin. Is he thrown? Dude's not getting up. Oh, you're right here. <laughs> he was standing here this whole time. <laughs> Boom. Bang. Skadoosh. All right, Saren still. Saren just sent people to kill us. How do I put away my gun? Does anyone know? Ah, select. Okay. Isn't this where I can get like a lap dance or something? There's Harkin. 
Back off, Rex. Best <gasps> Rex! To take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. The story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Can I talk to Rex? Oh, I leveled up. I don't see him. Ah, this is it. Hell yeah. Dance for me. <laughs> Damn! Look at her go! <laughs> oh, I can sit forward too. Let's get a better look. <laughs> oh, that's sitting forward. Well, you got a nice butt. Patron. I got business here, but not with you. Harkin. Hey there, sweetheart. You Oof. Have some fun? I gotta say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. Gross. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. We'll see where this goes. Can we punch him? You're disgusting. I'll pass. Suit yourself, princess. You know, if more marines look like you, I might have joined the Alliance instead of Seasick. I'm looking for a Seasick officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Don't waste my time. Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. The Anderson? First human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Wait, he was a specter? Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turian set him up. Hmm. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. Disgusting. You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. Should we ask him anything? What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? The executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? He sounds Every like a douchebag who got surprised that books. they caught him. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bus, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. Sir, you're easy, right. If you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for c isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Sounds like that's the way it's supposed to be. Red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. Could blame another. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. What an asshole. Oh. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Fist? Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, mm. is he? Goodbye. He's just Enjoy to the point. The club. So Rex wanted into the back, but he wasn't allowed. Presidium. Is that where we need to go? I think you just said other side of the wards, right? So it's probably somewhere. Yeah, med clinic, yeah. 
God, it looks so cool. The world building in, in this game is amazing. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or Who are you? Let her go. Thug. Ah! Damn, Garrus! Right in the fucking head. He did it. He's so cool. Oh. I got you. Ooh, he's right here. Nice. <laughs> Did you see that? Wait. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <Not> walking. <laughs> it's so silly. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. No problem. Oh, there was a nice shot. Oh, hurt? could have told him nice no, shot. I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Ow. Ugh. I have to keep sticking. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Hmm. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. The Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something hmm. worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must oh. be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. <laughs> you know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. Wait, who? Rex? The Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Oh. Oh. Okay. So. Do that. My two boys. <laughs> yes, he's with me now. <laughs> I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. Okay. So we have to go to the academy? Oh, what's this? Observe. <laughs> Just looking at the view. <laughs> okay, let's go to the academy. Let's go get Rex. Officer Lang? Who's this? Oh, hey, shiny you know, hair! You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. 
Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. Hmm. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Hmm. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that hmm. new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. <laughs> what do you know about Spectres? He's cute. Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use them, right? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. <laughs> I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Bye, Lang. See you around, Commander. He was cute. <laughs> Um, so take, is this an elevator? Do I take an elevator? Oh, there. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human yeah, colonization so cool. insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold <laughs> until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Welcome to Seasick. See if we can catch him here. Oh, Rex. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only He's so warning, cool. Rex. <laughs> you should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. <laughs> Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Nah, he's so cool. Yes! Let's go! Who wants boring humans as their squad members? Puh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So now we go back to the club. So how about it, Garrus? Is this better than CSEC? He's Fighting so cute. Specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way. I'd say that beats CSEC. There may just be hope for you yet, Turian. Wasn't the deal with Rex... Uh, I don't know if that's a spoiler. About, like... There's a... Well, I'll just say there's a really cool side quest with him in Mass Effect 2, I think. You go to, like, the planet he came from. It's really cool. Hi, Lang. Bye, Lang. See you later, Lang. Let's have a drink sometime. Looks like it's shut down. Look out! Ooh, you got Jesus! Okay. 
Take that, thug. Oh, shot him right in the butt. Bartender, you're strong. Oh, never mind. Ah. Take cover. Oh, there's someone up there. Shit, I'm overheating. Cover me. Uh, it takes so long. Okay. Wait, where'd he go? Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Good job, guys. Teamwork. I'm stuck in a chair. It takes so long. Well, he's down. Got him. And there's two on the left here. Let's try this one. Storm? Oh, it's a shotgun. That's it. I did it. Negative contacts. Oh, it's a... Uh... I can blow that up if I want. Take cover. Stop right Are there. You? Don't come any closer. Oh, uh, should I have shot you? Oh god, the box. Oh. Okay. Area secure. Why don't I'm not hitting him. Can I throw a grenade? Did I throw one? I'm not sure if I did. Ouch! Oh, Garrus is dead! Can't I, um... Oh god, they hurt. I can't use Medigel either. Oh, there. There's a cooldown on it? Oh, you can see the bar go up. Oh god, don't die, don't die, dude! Oh, he's dead. Well, what do I do? It hurts me so much. Hold the line. Um, it has to be something. I have a shield boost for myself, but. Huh? Do I have, um. How do I throw a grenade to him? Oh, X! How do I- how does it explode? Ah! It didn't hurt it at all! How does it not- He's Phoenix down, yeah. What do I do? <laughs> I have no idea! They both ate shit immediately. I threw two grenades at it, but it's not- doing anything. Oh, I don't have to get the turret. Okay, okay, okay. I'll just do this. Hold the line. He's healing! Get back up! Okay, I destroyed his shield. Oh. oh, I almost got him. Wait, I got him. Don't kill me, I surrender. Oh. Um, smart move. Where's the quarian? 
She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. Uh. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Where's the meeting? Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards. The back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Rex. The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Hmm. I am in charge here. You ever pull another stunt like that? It was the only contract I had left. And don't we have something more pressing to worry about? Damn, dude. That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Okay, let's go. Run! Quarian lost in four minutes. Oh shit. Wait, what's this? Two sniper rifles. Oh god, you guys are hurt. Heal up. Let's go! I'm rushing in! Hit him! Hit him! Yeah! <laughs> Fuck him up! <laughs> He's dead. Okay, I need to make it all the way to the... I'm rushing in! Oh god, I'm dead. I'm dead. Hit him! Okay. What was that? Okay, great. Thanks, Garrus. Oh, is it here? Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? <gasps> Tali! They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Tali's great. Harris, you walked in front of me. Got away from my gun again. Oh. They use some kind of power. Use sabotage. Use warp. What is that? Damage all nearby enemies. Hmm, yeah, use that. I don't know where though. Okay, my weapon is busted. Why can't I hit him? What the fuck? Um, Rex, you're kinda in the way. <laughs> Can you move? <laughs> I can't see anything. Oh, he's just working still. He doesn't give a shit. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. I think I romanced Tally one time as well. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Tally's so cool. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? The Quarians are cool because the they're, the they're completely suited up. My name is Tali. 
because their immunity, immune system is so weak that if they take off the mask, they would just die. I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're oh. quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That sounds like... That's Saren's voice. Good evidence. He was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Saren. She's so cool. I love her accent. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Ooh. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. Hmm. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? She has a point. Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Ah, now I have to choose, though. I like them all. I will go ahead to get can only bring ready two. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Her legs! So cool. Tally! Oh, no, 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 not you. Tally! <laughs> Garrus! Okay. Garrus always is with me. Always. See, we even move in sync. We finish each other's sandwiches. Okay. So what's the next thing to do? Back to the council? Could you spare a moment of your time? Samesh, what's Commander up? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What's up? It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Uh -oh. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but uh -oh. the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. 
All hmm. I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. I'll find out. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Meh, we gotta help him. Oh no. Is this the bar? Bosker. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Sure your am. activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. Mm. That is why her body is being held. They're running You're tests. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Mm. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Uh, how long is it going to take? How long do you think this research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released uh. for a year or longer. You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we Shit. can to get a reasonable sample size. Hmm. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. He should know I'll this. Tell yeah. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let hmm. me know if you have any other questions. It makes sense that they have to keep the body. Uh, that sucks though. Oh, don't mean don't mean to intrude. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to break the hard news. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Mm. It is unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. Uh. Please let me know what can be done. I can't do anything. Me. Maybe we can come back later when we have more options. This is why I always make sure to put as many points as I can into charm. Yeah. I should do that. Um, how do I do it again? Squat? I have six points. Can I put them in charm? Like that? Opens up new dialogue options. Let's do that. I still have four more points. Intimidate. Um, I want... Sniper rifles. Improve accuracy with all weapons. Okay. Teddy! Honestly, I should just do auto thing. Because I'm just like putting their points willy nilly anyway. Uh, outfits. That's only my original outfit, right? Okay. There he is again. Come on. We found some cool shit. Nina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. Her Eden name is Tali. Was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his we did it! status. And all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. We did it! I we nailed him! The other voice, the one speaking with Saren. 
Matriarch Benezia. Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm hmm. more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. Damn! This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. The story is so good. on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a specter. The council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! That's a bit much, a Adina. Fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Hmm. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador. <laughs> there is another solution. Huh? A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. <laughs> oh, I'm a specter. Commander Shepard, <gasps> step forward. Yes. Oh, the music. <laughs> Holy shit. I have goosebumps again. <laughs> it is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained. Music's so good. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. Oh, I'm you ready. The first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to But what was that thing about Anders uh, Anderson being a specter? This meeting of the council is adjourned. We should talk to him about that. If we can. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Nice. I'm playing on the I Series the X. I would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. 
Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Hmm. Right True. You, Shepard. Spectre bonus. Nice. Three hundred years ago, the Geth drove my people into exile. We asked the Council to wipe the synthetics out, but they ignored our pleas. Maybe if they'd listened, we wouldn't be here now. Through all my time at CSEC, I, I never got the chance to witness a meeting of the Council in person. Hmm. God, they're both so cool. <laughs> I wonder where we can find Anderson. So we should go to the academy now, right? Isn't that in the wards? Um, speak to the ambassador. Accessible through the central elevator at the academy. It's the docking bay. The okay. excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig. Oh, it cut off. I was listening to it. Utina. Can I talk to. No, I can't talk to Anderson right now. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. This ship is yours now. Oh. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. Forced retirement. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What went wrong? What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, I want to know. Is, I was sent on a mission with Saren and he made sure the council rejected me. Uh... I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse, looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe okay. you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop you the got it. from returning. Count on me. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. Right. She has a daughter, a scientist oh, who yeah. specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved. Liara, but be a good yeah. Idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. Right, we right. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Oh, Sounds there. like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions oh, that's weird. Humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. Hmm. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. <laughs> he literally said, don't forget about us now that you're famous. <laughs> yes, Commander? I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work. But the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? 
The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured Damn. out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Jesus. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe yeah. he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. That's not fair. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? Yeah. I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Yes, yeah, in the, the past. only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. Are you okay, though? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. Oh. You're the one who can stop Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Ah, oh, he's the best. He gave up everything so that I could go ahead and take the ship. What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. Okay. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Let's stick to that, because that's going to be our first um, destination anyway. So where do we go from here? Wait, this is the Normandy. Huh. Wait, how do I inspect it? It's so cool looking. So can I go aboard my ship? Oh, I can. Oh, ho, 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 this is mine now. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom I'm the commander open. now. Hey, Got beep. anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. Uh, need to be honest. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. The music you get every time I get goosebumps. <laughs> uh. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring <sighs> him down. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Ah, Garrus! Saren must be stopped, <laughs> and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. I won't let him down. Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. No, oh, that was so good. Ah, oh, I got goosebumps all over. Well, I think that probably is good for a first stream. We kind of like did the intro, I think. And now we have the ships and so now we're good to travel wherever Commander. we want to go. Something you need? How's the Normandy performing? 
Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. <laughs> Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I'd like talk. to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Damn, Top dude. Of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. What disease? What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? <laughs> I know, but... Oh, crap. You guys okay. don't know. I've got Froelich syndrome. Brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow. Too much force and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Yeah. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. Yeah, right. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. Hmm. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. Damn. I got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. Hmm. He's awesome. I have to go. All right, see ya. All right, see ya. <laughs> um, let me save here. Awesome. I think that's that wraps it up pretty well. I kind of want to find Garrus. Just to talk to him. Maybe we should talk to the new crew, mem crew members. There must be one or two here. Hey, Caden. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, <laughs> Maybe. Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Tactical appraisal? Hmm. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander. I guess he doesn't want to talk. My locker? <laughs> There he is. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. True. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC hmm. wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. He's so cool. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Sounds good to me. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. <laughs> that's Ashley. Commander. Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Mm. Dismissed, Chief. I don't want to get romantic with her. Ma'am. No, thank you. 
nice ship you've got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Don't be an ass. <laughs> you Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It isn't? It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? Oof. And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. I won't. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. Ugh. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us. Oh yeah, but it's genophage. Not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None <laughs> of us are interested in staying in our own system. Oh, I thought baby wanted out. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. <gasps> they made it? Oh. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Jeez. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage? fight for credits. He'll choose fight every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. So hmm. long, Rex. Well, we got a lot of information there. Very interesting. There's Tally. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype, cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of She's the so most cool. advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true. Whoever designed her suit is just brilliant. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. You can, can. like, just see her Some eyes and her nose. Larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. Hmm. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. <laughs> Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. 
Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There so are cool. 17 million quarians in the flotilla. Oh. And each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Is that like the same amount of people in the Netherlands? To surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. Hmm. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials? In practice, hmm. the That's pretty good. and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. Hmm. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. Huh. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. Wow. So they made the Geth, right? I want to know more about the Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks. So that's why they're on ships? Because they just had to leave their planet? Status. This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. So the Geth share brain power? Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work in concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in the group, the smarter they are. So there's some sort of group consciousness. This is so interesting. No, nothing like that. <laughs> they cannot share sensory data or information. Their programming cannot handle that much simultaneous input. Each Geth maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. Hmm. But when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. That doesn't make any sense. I'm probably oversimplifying. The Geth are incredibly advanced and complex creations. All you need to know is that they get smarter when they gather in large numbers. Okay. As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. I don't see what's so bad about those questions. 
self-aware. Death were created to engage in mundane, repetitive, or dangerous manual labor. That's fine for machines, but it won't satisfy a sentient being for long. The Geth were showing signs of rudimentary self-awareness and independent thought. If the Geth were intelligent, then we were essentially using them as slaves. It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order by- I mean, obviously, yeah. Hey, you can't blame them for fighting for their survival. We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. Couldn't you the just hope was that most of the Geth would work still together with them? Than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. No, oh, and that's why they're on the ships. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the Veil. Now, we drift through space, exiled, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. Yeah, I still feel like they just defended themselves, but I don't really want to make her angry. <laughs> Maybe I should drop it for now. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain she has so much to tell us. <laughs> tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. Okay. I want to talk about something else. Like what? I think I talked about everything already. I should go. See you later. Bye. Did we... Was that everyone? We talked to Rex. We found Ashley, which was weird. She was like... We can talk alone. Garrus, we found Caden. I think we got everyone. Can't remember half of it. I remember, surprisingly, I do really remember all these details, all their story stuff I remember. Like I remember Rex and the Genophage, and I remember Tali and the Flotilla and how they travel around and stuff. Um, and I'm, I keep thinking about stuff that's in the future games that I'm like, oh, can't talk about that because that's a spoiler. So I'm trying to like keep it like, I, I'm trying to keep it spoiler free, but there's so many things where I keep being like, oh yeah, and then this and this happens, right? <laughs> um, we got a good like intro section done. Now we have the ship is at our disposal and we can start looking into Saren and the guests and everything. So it's awesome.